Well, if you've ever wondered what to do on a wet morning in Cornwall, that's kind of how wet it is, kind of dribbly, horrible, just horrible, vile. Um, I decided to uh, have a go at Dean's problem with the solar slab um, and where you should put probes, how much heating you should put into it and the likes. Well, this is what I've set up. Um, we'll start with the slab. Slab sitting on a bit of insulation. It's just a paving slab. And over here, that's where the paving slab came from. I've got three temperature probes, one in the middle, one 150mm from it, and another one 300mm from the centre on the diagonal. Underneath the slab I have some pipes which got water passing through them. The water is in a, in a tank from a little fish tank pump and it's got a little fish tank heater as well which I haven't actually switched on yet and you can see just here the water's flowing. All these temperature probes they're connected back to this Raspberry Pi and don't confuse a Raspberry Pi with one of these this is what you make a Raspberry Pi from. I found them in my lodger's cupboard I think they're just vile actually but so we'll get rid of them and after writing a little bit of code which I'm no coder I've got it set up to a PC and it logs the temperature every 10 seconds. Now, if I can quickly show you the code, just move my T out of the way. There's some code I've written. Basically, it just looks at the uh, each temperature probe in turn, works it out into proper degrees C, and then sticks it, oh it's actually every 12 seconds, not every 10 seconds, it checks the uh, temperature and writes it to a file. Basically that last bit writes it to a file. There's the file, it's asking me to reload it. So I've reloaded it, I scroll down to the bottom, and there is the date, Let's see if we get a bit closer, the date, the time, the temperature of one probe, I'll get back to that one, the temperature of the second probe, the third probe, the fourth probe. Every now and again I get this minus 0.062 and that's an error where I don't know what the error means. There is also another code of like something like minus 1.125 but I haven't got any error, correct, um, error correcting in my um, code yet so we won't worry about that. But basically we're on line 86 if you've had 12 seconds pass I should be able to uh, yeah, we're on 89 now, so we've had uh, three lots of temperature readings since the last one, and they're all coming out proper. I can filter out those minus 0.062 ones later on. So, what I'm going to do at the moment is just leave this um, to settle down. I've got no heater on, water was literally out of the tap, the slab was out of the garden, just to see what kind of temperature the slab's at. That's saying 16.8, and they're saying round about 17.4, except for number one, which is the water probe, which is saying 18.43. I can't believe the water coming out of my tap was 18 and a half degrees. It's quite, quite warm, really, but then again, it has been warm this year, so that's it. So I'm going to literally go out for a cup of coffee somewhere nice, hope I'll find some sunshine. Um, and we'll take it from there. So 16 and a half degrees and it's showing 17 and a half there. By the way, that's the cheap Lidl's infrared probe. One thing I'm going to show you just before I finish is rather than have to hide in the shed all the time, you might have noticed on the Raspberry Pi there was a little wireless uh, dongle, which means here on my kitchen PC I can refresh it and get the data without having to go out in the cold. Isn't that nice? And we've got that really annoying error again, which I will get to the bottom of one day. Alright, end of part one.